Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Serrano here with the Blade V Smart after one week. So I want to give you guys my initial impressions of this device and overall, how does it pan out so far over the time that I've been using it? So I want to touch on five major categories in this video so that you can better understand how well this device performs as a 2020 entry level budget device overall. So the first thing I want to touch on is the build quality of this device. The second thing I want to touch on is the battery life of this device. The third thing I want to touch on is the screen display on this device. The fourth thing I want to touch on is how does it perform as well. And so after that, mainly I just want to basically talk about the user experience, which is the fifth reason. So let's just jump right into it. Overall, the build quality is really good. It has like this mirror like finish on the back of it. it feels really glossy. It's definitely plastic, but it feels really good in the hand. Now the sides are sort of squared off. So when you're holding the phone, you feel really secure when you're holding it. it has these nice squared off top on the top as well. It's kind of squared off as well. Just has a nice, uh, really nice shape to it overall. Uh, it has a really nice um, feel in the hand so far. So the edges are curved. They're not gonna poke your hand when you're holding it. It's got this really nice um, form factor in the hand, which is about 6.5 inches. And like I said, the materials are not the most premium that were ever used in the entire world, but they do offer this really nice finish on the back of it. It's got this nice triple camera setup right here as well that we're gonna get into a little bit more detail. I do wanna talk about the cameras as well. And overall, the build quality of this is nice. You get a type C port right down here. Your headphone jack is above as well. Now you're getting a notification light tucked away on the top right hand corner for when you're getting notifications, when it's charging, when or anything like that. Anytime something happens, there's gonna be this little green light on the front. Really nice uh, build quality. Uh, so I can definitely say that ZTE did a really neat, nice job. I do like this squared off camera. It kind of reminds me of the Pixel 4a, except they put two extra pixels in that thing and actually completed the overall box of it. So I do like how they did that. They have this nice red button on the side, which complements the whole phone really nicely. So the phone is a bit light in the hand overall. When you throw the case on, it adds a little bit of weight and grip as well. So I gotta say overall out of a 10, the build quality will probably be like, you know, like a, a 7.58 but more towards the 8.5 range in the entry level department. Uh, so if you compare it to other entry level devices, this is probably well up there in the 8.5 out of 10 scale. Now, when it comes to overall battery um, of using this device and overall my, my time using it, this thing has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. It's a two day phone. It's gonna get you through two full days. I'm a heavy user. I use the cameras and the, I watch a ton of YouTube and I'm on my phone all the time looking at social media and listening to music. I find that this phone can handle a lot of things. If you're a gamer, this thing is really good for gaming as well. You're going to be able to get through the whole day with this battery when you're gaming, watching movies, even taking a lot of video and recording just like me. And I find that it's a really good phone just to have when you're using it. Like uh, if you need a weekend phone, this thing could definitely get you through the two days as well without a charger. Really fast fingerprint sensor, has facial recognition inside of it. That, that has to do with the build quality. Forgot to mention that. But like I said, the, the overall battery on this thing does get you a uh, really long, uh, screen on time, really good battery performance. And um, I just definitely like the battery on the ZTE device. You don't see the, uh, you don't see it sipping the battery slow. Whenever I look at the battery, it seems to barely have moved from the last time that I looked at it. So I could definitely say that's really good. Now, when it comes to the display of this ZTE Blade V Smart, the, the, the display is really nice to type on. Uh, it's really big. It's a 6.5 inch uh, display and it's really nice in the hand for typing on with two hands. Um, you know, 
uh, the device right now it's 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 uh it's got a triple camera setup beautiful display to look at here um now i'm looking on amazon to see if this thing is still available on amazon and at the moment right now this device says currently unavailable but it will be back in stock shortly um i'm using this on metro by t-mobile and i'm getting 4g lte voice over lte which is really phenomenal but I mean, the screen of this thing is actually really, really good. You're getting, a, you know, a LCD display. You know, when you look at the display, it's really nice. It's a 720 display by 1560. You have a water drop notch at the top. So you get that slope there. Uh, it, it, I don't have any problems with the display. Um, and now it does have a some pretty good viewing angles when you look at it. Obviously, you some people can tell the difference between 720 displays, some can and some can tell the difference between 1080s. This I I have been able to see the slight difference when you look at words. The the font is a little bit sharper on 1080 to 1080 displays, but it doesn't really bother me whatsoever. So I could definitely say this is a nice panel to look at for watching media, and I didn't have any issues with the display on this panel whatsoever. Now, if you want me to give you um, some specs on the panel, I'll be happy to do so. Helio, Helio P60, which is a really good processing chip. I kind of wish the LG Stylo 6 had got this processing chip. 6.5 inch display, really beautiful to look at. And uh, it's just a really nice display. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the storage that you're getting on this phone. 128 gigabytes of internal storage um 18 watt fast charging so it's going to charge really quick you're getting that really fast charging on here like i said the the phone feels pretty light in the hand so it's not too heavy you're getting 284 pixels per inch you can touch the screen with up to five fingers at one time so if you're a gamer you can put five fingers on it so it's really good for gaming uh you're getting that 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 Mali G72 MP3 um, GPU, which is actually gonna be really snappy when you're in PUBG. You can game on high graphics on this device. And it's giving you a 16 megapixel rear camera, eight megapixel ultra wide and two megapixel camera on the back of it. You're also getting an eight megapixel front camera. And the cameras are really good. You're able to get wide angle, bokeh, portrait, um, soup, um, you know, the regular angle. They're giving some some different features in the camera as well, which I do like. You get portrait, selfie, live vi live picture. Um, inside of the the camera mode, you also do get slow motion and time lapse, which is pretty cool. So this phone does have a lot of features. It doesn't have NFC on it, unfortunately which um and it doesn't have wi-fi calling i know a lot of people love wi-fi calling this i haven't seen that feature on here but it runs really great on the 4g lte network i'm getting voice over lte for metro by t-mobile it's a really nice phone overall so i just wanted to give you my impressions of this device over the last week that i've been using it it's a really solid device it moves really quick i'm able to get to all my tasks here easily Social media is really play, fun to play around with. The scrolling speeds and everything are really uh, acceptable on here. And um, it's just a really nice device for the entry level uh, department and segment. If somebody's looking for an entry level device, I definitely would recommend this one. It's under $200. So you're not gonna break the bank at all, but it's been able to do everything that I like on a phone. It's pretty snappy as well. Um, you get your screen recording on here. You get your nearby share ult ultimate battery savings mode, which will definitely help when you're like at 5% and you're trying to stretch the battery out longer. But I just want to say that my initial impressions, ZTE did a really good job with this device. Uh, I wish it kind of had dual speakers, maybe NFC on board as well. I don't expect wireless charging at this price point or any water resistance ratings at all but it's held up really well. The build quality is actually pristine and it offers really nice build quality. So this is the ZTE Blade V Smart, $179 on Amazon. I'll let you guys know when it'll be back on Amazon and available. 
But like I said, it's really good for Metro by T-Mobile and it works perfectly. Uh, you get your facial recognition, really snappy processing, really good cameras. It doesn't have any dedicated nighttime modes or 4K modes, but I can only say that it's a really good device as well. But if you found this video helpful in any way possible, make sure to hit the bell icon and show your support and appreciation by, um, but I'll check you guys later. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and depending where you are, have a great night. Later group, peace. Thank you.